Well, shalom from Engev, Israel. I'm standing on the banks of Kinneret, a preciously important place in the life of every believer, in the history of Christendom, and in the ministry of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Messiah. You and I know it by a different name, a much more familiar name, and that's the Sea of Galilee. And as I look out over this incredible place and know that this is the genuine place, the bona fide destination where Jesus himself did so many wondrous miracles, did so many incredible things in the way of teaching and the ministry, I, I'm really, my breath is taken away to think about what happened here and how this is the place where he called fishers of men. This is the place where he taught the disciples how to think abundantly, sent them out to launch into the deep for a great catch that broke nets and filled boats. This is the same place that Jesus calmed the storm. This is the same place that he showed uh, Peter how to get the tax money. This is the same place where Yeshua himself walked on water. And Peter asked, call me to you, Lord, and he walked on water with him as well. This is that place, the same place. And as I'm standing here, I wonder, why did Yeshua, why did Jesus choose Gennaret? Why did he choose the Sea of Galilee to be a, a training ground for the disciples and an example, and in that, a training ground for you and I, modern day believers? And I think, well, part of the reason is geographically, obviously, but there's the fact that it's, it's teeming with life. And like the world, it's teeming with life. It's teeming with turmoil. Uh, in a moment's notice, the wind can come over the mountains here and cause storms, just like life. It's a, a place where we need to go and launch into the deep in order to get the great catch just like life. It's the place where Yeshua walked on water. And we have to learn oftentimes in life to walk on water. We have to learn to trust him, to be able to get out of our comfort zones, to be able to get out of our own boats and walk to him and trust him as we look to him. There's so many examples here, but I, I think that the, the real reason I'm here with you today is to just remind you that he's with us and he's given us examples of how if you have him, if you have him in your heart, in your life, if you have the Holy Spirit, you have that same power that Jesus had to bring abundance, to calm the storm, to walk on water. It's all in you. So wherever you are today, whatever you're going through, as I stand here on the shores of the Sea of Galilee, I want to remind you, the Lord wants to remind you, it's in you. And he gave us the examples. You just need to look to Jesus and believe. Believe for that abundance. Believe for that breakthrough. Believe for that next step. In your, in your life, your walk of faith. We believe in you. He believes in you. We love you. More importantly, he loves you. Listen, we're praying for you and for your families right here from the shores of the Sea of Galilee in this precious, beautiful Eretz Israel, the land of Israel. And we say once again, Shalom, not from Jerusalem, but from the Sea of Galilee.